Hey bakers, John Cannell from Preppy Kitchen here. Today we're gonna be making this delicious, super quick avocado salad with tons of fresh citrus, creamy, dreamy burrata, and a couple other things that I guarantee you'll love. Let's get started. First off, I'm gonna mince like mm, maybe a couple tablespoons of shallot. This is optional. You could use garlic, you could use onion, or you could skip it all together. But I just love the taste it gives. A little bit of bite. Let's add that into our little mason jar. Okay, as well as you can. And now let's add in a quarter cup of vinegar. I'm using a blackberry vinegar because I got this as a gift and it's really tasty, but anything is fine. There we go. And while we're at it, I'm gonna add in a few thyme leaves, just rip them up and let that all infuse while I work on the rest of my prep. There we go. Okay, set that aside. Now for the avocados. I am horrible at choosing avocados. I know you're supposed to feel them and make sure they yield a little bit and then you can lift the stem up. And if it's super green, it's not ripe. If it's less green, you have a better chance. But I think cutting into them is the best way. So let's see. So exciting. <laughs> I'm very happy about this. All right. This I will set aside later. I don't want it to brown. In the meantime, let's get some premiums of grapefruit, orange, and blood orange. Okay, to get a premium, we're gonna start off by removing the skin, including the pith. <laughs> so pretty, I love the color. Continue that process. Now use your knife and just cut inside of the membranes. So all you're left with is that premium of beautiful citrus. Continue this process for all the citrus fruits you're using and you'll have a basket full of joy <laughs> or a bunch of premiums for your salad. And the membranes have a ton of juice on them and are delicious. I love snacking on them. It makes me happy. If you want to make the salad but you don't have like access to blood oranges or grapefruits or <laughs> oranges, just use any kind of citrus that you enjoy. I think the grapefruits add a really nice kind of acidic bite to them and the oranges are pretty. So you can use one type of orange or you can skip the oranges altogether if you're minding your sugar. This recipe calls for three tablespoons of orange juice in the dressing, but today I'm just gonna let all these juices from my premiuming lay in that bowl and then I'm gonna dump them into the dressing. Look at that. This is not trash, this is delicious, so don't throw it away. Oh, <laughs> look at this. It's so funny, because sometimes for a blood orange, you totally get cheated, and it's like a regular orange with like a little tiny bit of like a speck of red in it. But sometimes you get these beautiful colored ones. I mean, look at this color. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Blood oranges taste very similar to a regular orange, by the way. If anything, they're less acidic. They have a milder taste, in my opinion. Now, if you want, instead of doing the whole premium thing, it's really pretty to take little slices after you've removed the skin and pith. And these look beautiful in your salad laid on top. It's also quicker and less juice wasteful. So you can have a combination. See, that looks wonderful. It catches the light. <laughs> Little jewels. Last one, I have a Cara Cara orange. So I looked crazy at the grocery store yesterday because I had a giant bag full of citrus. I'm shooting a lot of orange and grapefruit things today, so maybe they just thought I was healthy. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut this directly in. I would like to have some of these slice again. And you can cut the slices in half so they're more of a nice bite size. Remember, a sharp knife is a safe knife. With a sharp knife, you know what you're getting. Like, okay, cake can slice through things like butter, including my fingers, so you have better control over it. With a dull knife, you're kind of like hacking into things and that's when the dangerous part happens. That's why those cheese graters are such an issue. Oh my gosh, because they're not very sharp and you're kind of just like sawing away. So nice, all those citruses have a really distinct flavor. I have a few tomatoes here. They're gonna provide a nice little earthy garden punch. If you don't like tomatoes, leave them out. 
I didn't come around to raw tomatoes until I was like well into my 20s. So I get it. I'm cutting little slices just so you can be mindful of like what will fit onto a fork. There we go. Now for our avocado. And we're almost done. So fast. I'm gonna use two or three avocados in this and go totally hog wild crazy. I love avocados. They're so creamy. My kids are also obsessed with them, so I rarely get to eat them. They always just like wolf them down right away. Oof. Like the worst job of healing ever. I do a pretty job peeling so I can have nice slices of avocado. This one, ah, oh, what happened? There we go. So beautiful, I love that. One more. If you're in a rush, you can make this salad so quick by just like chopping the heck out of everything. It doesn't have to look pretty. The taste is beautiful. These avocados are naked. Let's slice them up. And I'm gonna reserve one half for the garnish on top just to make it look really pretty. Okay, we can place this in here along with, let me clean my hands. I'm adding in a few handfuls of leaves, also known as salad greens. You can give them a little bit of a rip if they're kind of large. I would recommend either mixed greens, butter lettuce, or some spring greens. I'm gonna finish up my dressing now. I have a quarter cup of vinegar and a few tablespoons of minced or roughly chopped, <laughs> uh, what are these called? Shallots. So I have a quarter cup of vinegar and a few tablespoons of minced or finely chopped scallops. <laughs> Shallots. And I'm adding in a quarter cup of olive oil. Mmm. Good amount of pepper. Mm, like maybe half a teaspoon of salt. You can add some more salt to taste after. You give this a good mix. Don't think I forgot that citrus. There we go. Mostly in there. Good job, John. <laughs> give us a good shake to emulsify. I'm gonna mix this up with my clean hands just a little bit. Now we're gonna transfer it into my serving bowl and finish the presentation. This is so good, I cannot wait to try it. This is enough for like two people if you're having something else for lunch or just for you. <laughs> I'm sprinkling in half a cup of garbanzo beans. I love chickpeas. They're really healthy. They have a lot of flavor, very creamy and protein. Take some of that reserved avocado and spread it around. You can also bring in to the front some of those beautiful citrus pieces so people can see what's in this wonderful salad. The finishing touch on my already beautiful salad is amazing burrata. If you haven't had burrata, it's like mozzarella and heavy whipping cream had a baby. <laughs> you buy them in these little like milk baths basically, and it looks like a fresh mozzarella, but the little nib feels like mozzarella. On the inside, it's all it's all full of that jiggly, wiggly curd. This stuff makes me more excited than it should. But what you're gonna do is cut it open and just break it up into a few pieces. It's very dramatic when you cut it open though because it all kind of like explodes out. You see, on the inside, it's like molten cream. I don't know how to describe it. It's very decadent. So if you want this to be your healthy lunch salad, you would skip the burrata, but you know, you only live once, so. <laughs> Last little bit is our dressing. I'm in heaven, I cannot wait. Look at this. This is some warm weather magic, I love it. This salad is beyond, it was so easy to make and if you'd like some more texture, you can add croutons or serve it with like a wonderful French bread. Oof. Okay. The shallots added so much extra like crunch and bite. Just perfect. Even though there's only a couple tablespoons in there and my God, the burrata and avocado makes this 
creamy and so luxurious. If you like this recipe, check out my fish tacos. They are so crunchy, creamy, delicious, even though my avocados were not ripe and that made me very sad. It's still good though. For something totally different but still vegetarian, check out my spanakopita video. It's a Greek spinach pie and it is fantastic. You will love it. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.